sometimes I get hung up about it, it being me, it talking about me, like I'll think of myself from the outside. Because it's a, a result of this technology, seeing myself on, from the outside. So I get distracted and think of what people would think about me. But normally, other than that, I'm blending the two worlds. The simulated mind mental world and the physical world. And I'm training it by training my skill and perspectives of the simulated world with things like video games technology, these games, these, these, it, let's relabel them, these training exercises of the mind. They're numbers, simulation, movement, action, vectors, orientation. Training that. And then blending it with the normality of moving around and talking and saying, hello, hi, I, hey guys, I'm a normal person, hey, hey. I'm not looking at a camera, that behavior, like, when, when I'm looking at a camera, that's kind of weird, I'm looking at a camera, explaining and all the mental stuff when I'm looking at a camera, and then blending that with normality and, like, just talking to people, that's the, that's the tip, that's, that's the key of fixing things, because those are the two perspectives. The video games have allowed our minds to train that perspective, what, what other people could only imagine before they existed. Oh, why? Why do I explain it twice? That's what I've got to get past doing. Because I don't need to explain it twice. Even though I explained it once on a camera, I don't ever need to explain it again. That's the value of the technology, but sometimes re-explaining things from other perspectives allows a growth of the concept. KC Ken said that, and that, as much as I don't like that concept, as much as it hurts me, I think it's true. So, that's why I throw it into people. Man. It's enervative. This fucking video camera is enervative as fucking hell. It's a real drain. Maybe I make it a drain because I talk. It's just a deep concept, it's kind of weird.